Hey, it's another explainer of some gen art that I made with P5 and Chroma.js. Today, I'm gonna go over the basics of a tractor, which is still one of my favorite pieces that I've ever made. Just so simple, <laughs> super fucking simple. Hopefully this is like less than a minute and I can explain it pretty quickly. All right, so first there's composition, which I just saw some posters, which had like these super minimal shapes around the edges and they came towards the center and they all offset by the same amount. It's like whatever the opposite of mirroring is, they all did the same exact thing. Say we have four shapes, we're going at the edge. So at 0, 90, 180, and 270, we set a shape and we translate to that point. We rotate it so that up is facing the center, start the triangle, and then that final point is offset by whatever our standard like, uniform X and Y offset is. But I made some tweaks to kind of follow the concept a little better. All right, so the fun, really fun part is there's a feature in P5 called set line dash. Set line dash just lets you set custom intervals for line dashes. So like 10 pixels, two pixels, 10 pixels, 10 pixels. What I did was take these lines and stack them. So we put them at like really low opacity. You overlap them, have them set to like a random black or white. And then when you stack like 10 to 15 to 20, however many, they create all these sort of crazy effects. Now, vital to the concept itself, when you overlap them, they get even cooler. <laughs> they get more complex, they get more interesting, which lends to the idea that all of these people are more complex, more ornate when they overlap and interact. So the, the last bit that I need to talk about is just, we have those black and white values, now we go into the shader and we apply a LUT. So if you don't know what a LUT is, it's a lookup table. We're essentially assigning from like zero to one, black to white, assigning a color from a gradient. And we just apply the whole palette as a gradient. And there we have it. It's all done. <laughs>